Yeah, so I asked this question in a um, uh, some Markov chain workshop a year or two ago, and no one really picked up on it, but maybe it's better for, for this audience. Uh, this uh, problem was inspired by a question by my father-in-law, who is not a mathematician. Uh, so it's about, well, I'll say it rather, oh, sorry, I was just about my name, aren't I? Uh, so it's about an, a non-monotone version of the triangle-free process. Uh, so the triangle-free process, you start with an um, empty graph, you add edges one by one, uniformly not creating a triangle, and you end up with this maximal uh, triangle-free graph with about n to the three over two edges. Um, but suppose we allow edges to both appear and disappear. So I'm not sure exactly what the best way to, to phrase this, but maybe we put, so a bit like in a... Uh, remember because there's a problem, so maybe we put a sort of exponential one uh, independent clock on each edge. And then when the clock rings, if you're a non-edge, or if you're an edge, maybe you become a non-edge. If you're a non-edge, you become an edge as long as you don't create a triangle. So clock rings, uh, edge, goes to non-edge, and non-edge goes to edge if we don't create a triangle. So what could you ask about this? I guess you could ask things like the, the mixing time or whatever, but sort of a very, I, I think this, this seems like a very hard process to study, so uh, I mean, we should try and think of the easiest question possible and then try and prove the weakest bound imaginable about it and just to get started. So, okay, so sorry? Yeah, so, so exactly. So that's part, has to be part of the question. Uh, so here's one question. So suppose you start with complete bipartite. How long does it take you to get to sort of some sort of sparse random thing? Right, so I... Uh, Maybe there's an even more basic question uh, on sort of what does the stationary distribution or whatever look like, but, sorry? Yeah, yeah, all right, so yeah, so, so yeah, right, yeah, so really basic question, yeah, what does, yeah, where does this process spend most of its time? I guess it spends most of its time here, but sort of occasionally I'll get to complete bipartite or something like it, it'll be very hard to escape from it, uh, but I guess it's quite hard to get to it in the first place as well. So my guess is it spends almost time, all its time here. It's not at all clear to me how it gets from here to here and then back again, or how long it takes, or, or anything else about this. Ah. Uh, right, so yeah, so it's actually yeah, uniform on all triangle-free graphs, so actually almost all of them should be just random bipartite ones. Ah, okay, so, 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 right, so, so, yeah, perhaps that's the case. I mean, one can also choose different rules or something. I mean, it's sym symmetric as long as you're not creating a triangle. I don't know if that messes no, everything up. The, yeah, all you have to check yeah. is that, if, you know, the rate at which you go from one graph to the other uh, doesn't depend on the order. So ah. Right, if, if, and it's because, oh, yeah, everything is triangle-free, I see, I see. Yeah. And then it's just uniform. Okay, so, so, in fact... Con conjecture one is false then. So most of its time it looks like a random subgraph of this one. Uh, <laughs> progress report already in, in the middle of the, in the, middle of the, the problem. So, right, so I guess one could also uh, put, put some kind of bias on this thing where, yeah, so if the, you add an edge of probability P if it's not present and then delete with probability one minus P or something to, to try and to make it sparse and then, okay, then it will be, be different. Though if it's, right, so perhaps an interesting P is something like n to the three over two root log n or something, n to the three over two, or n to the minus a half or something. Um, yeah, I think that's anything about, sorry? Uh, I could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I think both questions are, yeah. 
as far as uh, my level of understanding of this problem, equally interesting. Uh, really, like, yeah, no, no, no idea, no idea what to do whatsoever. But so, so I think the, re the my motivation for for wanting to understand this process is that we're not very good at understanding triangle-free graphs that are sort of somewhere in the middle here, right? Dense, much denser than this guy. This guy has n to the three over two edges. They're much sparser than this guy. Has n squared edges. Uh, and are also somewhat random-like. So these examples are, are known in whatever, in, say, n to the 5 over 3 edges or something. Um, but it would be nice to have a way of constructing more random-like triangle-free graphs, and pr perhaps this is a, a way of doing it. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>